The most important aspect with these pictures is you want them to convey your personality. And remember, this isn't a Facebook profile or Instagram or Snapchat. This is au pair world. Yes, you are finding a host family, but you're also finding a future employer. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Graham with Au Pair World, and today I'm going to be telling you guys my three tips to building a great Au Pair World profile. Before I jump into the three tips, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to Au Pair World so you can keep up with all the new content that we produce. That being said, let's jump right into this video. One of the questions that I get most from Au Pairs is, Graham, how do I make a good Au Pair World profile? Or a lot of the times I hear from Au Pairs that already have Au Pair World profiles, but they can't seem to match with any families or they're not getting many messages and generally the number one problem I see is they don't have a good profile. So in today's video I'm going to be telling you three ways that you can really beef up your au pair world profile and make it super attractive towards host families. I've personally used this three-step method during my four host family searches. I'm using it right now to search for my next host family <laughs> so trust me it works. Now the last thing I'll say before I actually jump into the three tips I have is sometimes even if you do have a great profile and if you're still not getting messages, it might not be the profile. So don't just look at your profile if you're not getting messages, but also look at your experience, look at your references. You want to make sure that both of those things are really, really good because that's going to go a super long ways towards getting host families to send you messages. All right, so getting that intro out of the way, let's jump into the first step of this process and that is to have really good pictures. When host families are scrolling through Au Pair World, they see the exact same thing that we Au Pair see when we're looking for host families. They see your name, one little picture of you, and tiny little bits of information. And that's all they have to go on to decide if they want to click on your profile and read more. So naturally, when they are scrolling through, the first thing their eyes go to is the picture. So you want your pictures to be really high quality, great pictures of you that are going to show your personality and give the family a sense that they know you before they ever even talk to you. If you guys have ever seen any videos on my channel, you know that I'm so passionate about good pictures because it does go the longest way towards finding a good host family and the most important picture is going to be that very first picture the one that's going to show up on your profile when they click on it the first picture of you needs to be a clear concise picture of you and just you nothing else no friends no parties no craziness going around it needs to be a picture of just you after this first picture you need to have I would say somewhere between five and 10 pictures on your profile. I always like to play it safe and do the absolute maximum amount of pictures because the more the better here. I suggest you have at least two more pictures of you and just you. That way the host family can get a good sense of what you look like, kind of what you enjoy doing, what your personality is, and then the rest of the pictures can be you with your friends, you with your family, with a school group doing things you enjoy. Just something that's going to give that family a sense that they already have met you before they've ever even talked to you. The most important aspect with these pictures is you want them to convey your personality. And remember, this isn't a Facebook profile or Instagram or Snapchat. This is au pair world. Yes, you are finding a host family, but you're also finding a future employer. So you want these pictures to be somewhat professional, but also good and relaxed and you. Some big no-nos that I always consider for pictures is one, don't do pictures of you partying. That's just never a good look. It's really not. I know in the moment it seems fun and those pictures might have some significance to you, but just keep them off your profile. Also, I avoid any pictures where you can't really see me in the picture. So I tend to stray away from big group pictures or pictures where the host family is really going to have to hunt for you inside of the photo. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with doing pictures with you and other people, but make sure that it's just not loads of other people and that you're not doing something that you wouldn't want your host family to see you doing. The big thing to keep in mind here is these pictures don't have to be crazy professional quality, but you also don't want them to be really low quality and showing you in a way that you don't want yourself shown. Your future host family, your future employers are going to be looking at these pictures, so make sure that there's something that you're comfortable with a lot of people seeing and something that's going to show that you are responsible and show your personality. Step two of the process is equally as important as step one, and that is plenty of good text inside your profile. 
Something to keep in mind when you're looking for a host family is generally there are a lot more au pairs looking for host families than host families looking for au pairs. Last time I checked, there were two au pairs for every one host family on au pair world. So that means that in order to get messages and send messages, you're gonna have to outwork everybody else. And one of the best ways to do this is have clear, concise, quality text inside your profile. Au Pair World makes doing this exceptionally simple because inside of Au Pair World, they have designed your profile into different quadrants, different little squares where you can go in and put information about yourself. The big thing I have to say here is put plenty of detailed information about yourself. Don't be shy on this point. Don't skimp, don't just put little things, be very detailed, be very concise, and that's really going to help host families get to know you and decide to send you a message. You want your profile text to reflect you and reflect your personality. Remember, this isn't an essay for school, nor is this a text to your best friend. So you don't want it to be extremely formal and just very robotic, but you also don't wanna have bad spelling and grammar and things of that nature. So you do want it to be somewhat professional but also relaxed and comfortable because remember they're hiring you to look after their kids So they want to know that you are responsible and fun But you can also let loose the big suggestion I have when you're writing the different texts is to make sure that your motivation is Reflected in the text and what I mean when I say that is think back to when you first decided You wanted to be an au pair and that excitement you felt and the motivation why you want to be an au pair Now take that energy and put it in your au pair world profile. There is a a section in the profile that says motivation and this is of course specifically to write why you want to be an au pair but you want your motivation to be an au pair reflected in your entire profile in the about me in the education you want these families to feel like you actually want it you want to be an au pair not just to travel for free or to spend some time abroad cheaply there are very few times in your life when people want to hear about you and just you, but your profile is one of those times. These host families are here to just read about you, so don't be shy. This is your time to shine. Really tell the families why you want to be an au pair, what you can bring to their family, and what you're looking to get out of the experience. Another big thing to keep in mind when you're making your au pair world profile is to be honest. I've talked to too many au pairs who've had issues with their host family because they said one thing in their profile and then in reality, that wasn't really them. They weren't being honest and now their host family sees their lie. So you want to be honest. You want to be clear and concise in your profile because that's gonna give the host family something to expect and you should expect the same out of them. Honesty, clarity, and a sense of genuineness. In your profile, you really don't want to lie because trust me, they will find out, but do highlight the things you're good at. If you enjoy playing soccer, then mention that. If you're good at cooking, mention that. If you like to swim and be active outside, those are things that you should mention in your profile because you want to really highlight the things that you do well. This is what the host family is there for. If you speak more than one language or if you speak the language of your host country, this is definitely something to mention in your profile as loads of families are interested in this and also if you know how to cook be sure to mention that because a lot of host families are gonna be looking for people that can cook for their kids the last thing I'll say is if you're writing your profile in English or if you're writing your profile in a language that's not your native language have a native speaker go over it and look at it just to make sure everything is grammatically correct and it sounds right this is something I do in English and I'm a native speaker and I also do this in Spanish because my profile is in both languages and it's just really good to have somebody go over it because you might write something that just doesn't sound right to somebody else. So be sure to have a friend, a parent, a sibling, go over, read your profile, and just let you know what they think about it. A lot of the times, this second perspective is very revealing. So the big takeaway from this point is more is better when it comes to making an au pair world profile. Don't be afraid to include loads of information. It's not a novel, so of course don't write them a book, but don't go light on the info. Let them know about you, let them know about your lives because that's really going to inspire them to send you a message. Step three of making an efficient and great au pair world profile is to be active and proactive. 
As I mentioned earlier, there are more au pairs than host families on Au Pair World. So in order to get a host family, essentially you're just going to have to outwork someone else. And the more active you are, the more chances you're going to have at getting a good host family. So I've put together a couple suggestions to be active and proactive on Au Pair World, which is going to make you stick out to host families. Number one is to spend at least 20 minutes every day reading profiles, sending messages, and or responding to messages. This is incredibly important because if you're not active sending and receiving messages, you're not going to talk to many host families. In your Au Pair World profile, host families can see how many messages you've received and how long it takes you to send messages. So if they click on your profile and they see that you've received five messages, but it takes you a week to respond to those, they're probably not going to send you a message. So you want to make sure every day, at least once a day, you're hopping on Au Pair World and responding to messages that host families send you. A big tip I have when you are sending and or responding to messages is write an individual message for each host family. If you're sending lots of messages, I know it can take time to write an individual message for everyone, but this really goes a long way to give the host family a sense that you're really interested in them. You're interested in being their au pair and you're willing to take the time to write them a message. When you're sending them that first message, don't just send, I'm interested in your family. Send them why you're interested in their family, why you think you would be a good match and why they should talk to you and consider you to be their au pair. I promise if you send messages like this, host families will see the work that you're putting in and this will go a long way to get them to either send you a message or respond to your message. So it really is worth it to take the time. The last tip I have here is to be patient. It takes time to find a host family. In my first au pair experience, it took me two weeks to find my host family. My second experience was two months and now my third experience was almost four months. So it just takes time. Be patient, spend the time, and I promise you will have results. All right, guys. So these are my three tips to making a great au pair world profile, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to au pair world, and leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Muchas gracias. Thank you, and hasta luego. Bye-bye.